in the backs of our minds, we were just terrified. Because the last thing we want to do is make a mistake that could jeopardize a patient's lives. What we're going through as healthcare providers and people working in the hospital is something I would never wish on anybody. I've been getting a lot of text messages lately and a lot of messages on Facebook. People checking in, asking me how I'm doing and asking me about the severity of this virus. And, you know, I'm trying my best to get back to everybody, but quite frankly, it's just talking about it is just, it's so hard to talk about it day in and day out. I work for an amazing hospital. It's a great organization and they're doing everything in their power to keep us safe and I'm so appreciative of it. But the truth is is that if people are dying, a lot of people are dying and we're trying our best but for some reason our best isn't good enough right now. I had ever taken care of a, a patient on a ventilator was last week and never done it before and not getting hands-on orientation I just you know we all had to step in and start taking care of these patients and in the backs of our minds we were just terrified because the last thing we want to do is make a mistake that could jeopardize a patient's lives people think that this isn't serious and people are complaining because, you know, businesses are shutting down and, and my heart goes out to business owners because I couldn't imagine the, the financial insecurity that they're experiencing right now. But I'm seeing, I'm seeing families out letting their kids play with other kids and I'm, I'm seeing people, you know, who, who don't live together, who are out together still and, and honestly, just stop please just stop this is chemical irritation from the respirator mask that we have to wear at work my face is constantly broken out from that everybody that I work with looks like this right now we're not sleeping we're having nightmares all we are dreaming about are the alarms that are going off in our patients and it is just we can't get it out of our heads just please if you do anything, just stay home. Please just stay home. You guys just stay home. Everyone, just please stay home. Do your due diligence. I'm truly so sick of seeing people posting pictures on social media with their families and I know for a fact that you guys don't live together it's just absolutely ridiculous and quite frankly it is completely selfish and a slap in the face for us who are on the front line risking our own health and safety and now I do have the coronavirus